Hey, hey, this here is Sunny J, and this is going to be part two of the Ceramic Mosaic Muriel. Now, this is the largest mural in the entire world, as verified by the Guinness Book of World Records. If you want to know more about the history, check the link below for part one. But for this one, I'm going to read to you some Vietnamese poems and prose that have been translated into English. The Calligrapher Just as the pink cherry blossomed each year, the old scholar was sure to reappear. With china ink and red paper and scrolls, amidst the swelling crowds that surged and rolled, so many people paid him handsomely for his talent that they admired so dear. The flourishes of his accomplished hand that wrought dragons and phoenixes without end. Each passing year saw fewer people come. Where were they all who paid his handsome sum? Now his paper had lost its crimson red, his red ink dried out in its sad forlorn bed. At his old place sat the calligrapher, amidst the hustling crowds without a stir. Yellowed leaves fell on his paper undisturbed, and from above drizzle flew in, the, in a whir. This year the cherry blossoms light pink again, the old scholar nowhere to be found, though they searched in vain. All those people in days of yore, where are they now? Where e'er forevermore? Nostalgic Autumn Although we are far away from each other, you the scent of the past I still adore. I have been pining every minute awaiting your return to satisfy my longing once more. I have hung around in the warm sun, allowing my mind to transcend. Our souls with the wind and clouds blend, hovering under the familiar heavens, where together our delights could extend. When came the evening, I remembered how two lovers whispered, each in the other's ear, in a quiet corner of the autumn lake, vowing, vows flowing into the lake forever to preserve. Now that you are very far away, I still preserve the dried flower bud we plucked that day, the feel of the rare fragrant flower half open, growing fresh on the forest fringe full of appeal. In the cold poetic moonlight mid-autumn, such nostalgia how it sufficiently reveals my heart is still true to you. Okay, I cried a little bit and had to regain my voice. Now, this next one was actually written by a, a Russian lady, and it is about her experience here in Vietnam. The Heron Since I stroll in the woods more often than on this frequented path, it's usually trees I observe, but among fellow humans that I like best is to see an old woman fishing alone at the end of a jetty, hours and hours on end patiently content. The Russians, mushroom hunting after a rainfall, trail after themselves, a world of red saffirans, nightingales, samurans, and stoves to sleep on, though without a doubt those are not what they can remember. Vietnamese family fishing or simply sitting as close as they can to the water make me recall that lake in Hanoi and the amber light, our first jet-lagged evening, peace in the war we had come to witness. Yet this woman stood alone, this woman engaged in her pleasures, evoked an entire culture, tenacious, filled flower growing itself among the rows of cotton and red earth, country under the feet of mules and masters. As I watch, I imagine her as a child, barefooted by a muddy river, learning her skill with a pole. What battles has she survived? What labors? She gathers up all the time in the world. Nothing else matters. She waits for her scanty trophies, complete within herself, as if a heron. The Color of Fostering At Tet, people buy chickens in the market. I bought a clay rooster when I was a child. 
Although that earthen rooster was born of muddy earth, his crowing still echoes brightly in the sky. Suddenly a rainbow sweeps before me. Many beautiful flowers speak of dreamy worlds. In the flowers a small angel keeps peeping, her dark eyes waiting full of anticipation. Sometimes I think the soul is the color of my street, its silent mossy tiles, its silent walls, the morning weather like being seventeen, the leaves waking up, releasing their earthly fertile scent. This here's been Sunny J doing a voiceover. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Blessings be, and you get out there and or stay inside and have a good day.